Hello and welcome to this product highlight video. Today we'll have the biggest addition to the Magnitude family, Magnitude SDRX4. Not only is Magnitude STRX4 physically the biggest addition to our Magnitude family, it's also the most complex. Because the latest generation of AMD Threadripper CPUs have eight or four chiplets, depending on which model you're up for, we decided to split the coolant four ways. And the insert actually has four individual branches taking the coolant out directly over the dies. And from there, it passes through two separated jet plates and these jet plates actually have four distinct openings to ensure the flow is focused perfectly over the dice. And the inserts which are used to split the flow not only direct the coolant, but they also direct the pressure. And this is absolutely essential for good contact. So directly over each set of chiplets, there is a raised bus on the insert, which applies just a little bit of extra pressure to the cold plate. And combined with the screw placement, which secure the cold plate to the top. We also deflect this into a distinct H shape. So you will see perfect mounting pressure over the chiplets and over the IO die. And of course, still good mounting pressure everywhere else because this is roughly the shape of the IHS itself. Moving on to the design, just like our smaller magnitudes, these use absolutely colossal pieces of metal machined down precisely into the perfect form. The frame itself, we want it to keep perfectly symmetrical. However, the mounting is asymmetrical on the STRX sockets. At the top, the narrow mountings are attached to the inside edge, and at the base, they're attached to the outer edges. So the overall appearance is still perfectly symmetrical while the mounting mechanism is conveniently housed inside. Just like other CPU blocks, this uses standoffs. They are installed directly to the motherboard, but unlike other blocks, these are used to locate the entire assembly. When you've spread your paste perfectly, the block can simply be placed down, springs inserted, and then screws tightened down until they're flush, and you'll have a perfect mounting every single time. We'll offer this block in four versions. Copper acetal as the entry point, and for the first time, this will feature a red accent frame, so you can show your love for Team Red without having any lighting on show. The next two versions in the chain are nickel acetal and nickel plexi. These both feature digital RGB lighting as standard, and that has 40 diodes for perfectly even illumination around the outside of the block or illuminating inwards on plexi versions so you can see all of the coolant. And at the top of the line is our full nickel block. This one can be upgraded also with a digital RGB accent, but by default, everything is nickel. And this is actually the heaviest block at 900 grams, second only to the Velocity WS. The full nickel block actually performs the best, and that's not due to the added weight or the heat dissipation of the top, but the fact that it's slightly more rigid. And because the top doesn't deflect at all, that means that all of the trickery which is used inside to exert the perfect mounting pressure can do its job precisely right. Even though the mounting across all versions is as good as possible because the insert is brass and this takes the majority of the stress in the center, you still get a small advantage from the full nickel version. Alongside the four blocks, we also offer a full array of accents. These are available in digital RGB, as I mentioned earlier, and there you get a white acetal ring with the LED strip to add lighting to your full nickel block. And of course, every color that's available in the torque and regular magnitude accents so that you can add a small slice of color to the blocks when the lighting is off. Thanks for joining us on this product highlight video and we'll be back with lots more. So subscribe if you like it, like it. And if you have anything to say, please comment. Goodbye and stay cool.